I got this one's put down is Izumi normal. Also, her eyes look super fucking weird like that. That is actually a trace. Okay, now not to be too critical, because this shit's hard, but... Yeah, yeah. It's kind of weird, side by side. I mean, it's not something people would generally notice, because they probably won't put these side by side, but if you put them side by side, it looks super fucking weird. <laughs> uh, it just looks like, Ugh, I'm shot! Great! Goddamn, Azumi! So, I want to do this lab. I don't want to do this tomorrow, because tomorrow I have work. And I don't... I don't want to deal with this during work. It's not, it's not the time. The time is not ripe, as they say. Or is it right? I don't know, actually. Oh, great. I just got an email I don't want to look at. But! Oh, great. Let's do with something else. There's a meeting at school today about, um, some stuff that, fun fact, I can't attend because my entire fucking city has decided to lock the fuck down for uh, some sort of... Just, just bullshit, just bullshit. Just goddammit. Now I gotta learn how to use this this word properly. So is isn't Azumi wasn't Azumi like originally convinced that humanity was like completely kaput? Or that she was like, I I don't care about future humanity, I'll just just do it over here. There was something with Azumi where she's like, I don't care about humanity, and the main reason she doesn't care about humanity is 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 entirely engineer. Jesus Christ, what a mouthful. The entire reason she's like, I don't care about humanity at all is because she, what's the difference, Azumi? Give me a reason. That's actually a good translation. Wow, I'm glad that I'm looking at a line like that's that's good. Actually, the sentence does perfectly work. It's just it's a little bit clumsy on the first go, because it's. Uh... I'm not going to use the fucking word clean this time. I could, but it's just not a fucking good word for the circumstances. At least not in Dutch. It's like the direct translation just sounds clumsy. I know that Azumi talks way too fucking fancy for what her ass should do, but... Yeah, just... You're not going to use the word clandestine unless you're really trying to show off. At which point, no, Azumi... She doesn't... Like, you're not going to show off if many routes in and not enough in. She's still fast and loose and playing it playing it by, by, by thumb. So, you know... There's a very narrow bandit, which is when we would be, like, sagely and arrogant about it, but at the same time, not completely defeating and going to the bare bones. I gotta never specify the country they went to. Is it AM or VM?
I mean, that's a fair... Like, the, the plan is not terrible. Just teleport into a location no one... Like, how the hell is anyone going to find you if you're that independent? I mean, that's a brilliant idea. For uh, legal operations, then. <laughs> oh, you know, actually, it's Soul. I forgot. The song changes here. For some reason, Soul is being played here. Was Soul also played during the... This does not sound like the kind of song you'd want to play when you're talking about your class clandestine employer. I now remember why I don't remember this song too well. It's because there's a bleep bleep in my ear. I hate this already. <laughs> like... Considering the kind of stuff this guy's made so far, I'm surprised this tiny little bleep bleep managed to sneak in. That's a better term. I've used external, and it's like, why do you have the portal if you don't need external supplies? <laughs> like, this is something that I would see Azumi, like, geeking out over. Like, we found another ray! Wait a minute. Why... Why is this important? Like, I bitch about Izumi talking about the comet too much, but... Why is this coming up at all? At what point is, the, is this relevant for me? It's like, okay, I just needed to know you got there. Oh, I know what this is about. So the whole point is, um, we can't send shit through the portal. So humanity can't contribute to the dragon problem too easily. Um, by sending over large supplies, because that's just not feasible. Um, that and humanity doesn't have much to begin with. Um, but it's also supposed to explain why Reza's plan might be completely stupid to send over giant generators and all. I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's probably trying to explain something, because it's a restriction on a machine, but I don't see what the restriction is. This is not a good translation, from a pure one-to-one -one perspective, but I like it. Weirdly enough, the technology is more complex than teleportation, even though they're based on similar ideas. There, on the same ideas. There we go. That's... Don't know why my brain was not popping that one out too easily.
Okay, but why is this important? Why are we talking about this? <coughs> like, at what point is this relevant? Like, none of this matters to anyone. Izumi is the last person to be talking extensively about this random piece of technology that you never come into contact with at all. Actually, this is kind of weird, because it's also implied that the receiving portal has to pay some minor amount of energy. So how the fuck can you send something to the middle of nowhere without a portal, if the portal... Uh, I can only assume that what it's actually paying an energy cost is like additional specification or something. Like a beacon of sorts. Like it helps, ref like it helps speed things up a bit in some regard. Oh, uh, true, previously. sells it a bit better. I don't know. Like, wh why a single variable? Why not say, say, just a little too much or too... too little... Like, again, it's really specific. This sounds better. Like, this is something she would say, like, on a dimension, because that's how engineering works. Like, I understand this is hard to do, but here's a fun thing. If you do just a little bit of basic research into things, you can learn enough to sell it. Of course, then someone who actually knows it comes along and, and kicks your ass and you're like, fuck! But that's part of the deal, is you gotta sell it to the common man. It's just kind of weird that Izumi talks about certain things that just don't... Like... Like I said, there's like a very specific point in which it defines her character as to how much she cares about this stuff. But every single fucking run, she says the same thing. And I would have loved it if on a true ending... This is all different. It's like Izumi is... Like, the more endings you get, this conversation changes! Like, Izumi doesn't mention certain things. Like, she gives you a summary. And then on a true ending, she's like, Ugh, whatever, you know how this works. You know? Like, at that point, she's like, I know you know how this works. Your fucking computer knows this. It's implied that system is somehow aware during all of the transactions. Safeguard. That's... That's not what that means at all.
Oh man. I think it's I think it's with a J. Oh no, we call it Billion. I forgot. I forgot the fucking long scale, short scale thing. And Billion actually sounds better. I completely forgot long scale, short scale. Because we have Milliard. You motherfuckers. You do know that's that's what Billiard and Milliard are about. Like, Billiard means m means two million. Means million times a million. And Trillion means million times a million times a million. That's how the zeros work, you motherfuckers. I know it doesn't sound fun to say, but fuck you! You're ruining everything! First with your fucking imperial metric stupids and I fucking da. Ah. Luckily, we have a nice thing for that one too. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Yeah, she actually... Interesting that she lies about this in the first place. I completely forgot she actually totally just fucking lies flat to your face about being alone. I like how everyone seems to figure out <laughs> that it's like Earth in the past, almost instantaneously. Except you, for some fucking reason! Ah! Timing is just ridiculous. Um, Jesus Christ, I forgot just how much of a blabber she is. Like, this scene takes forever, and it doesn't have to at all. None of this is important. All of this is plot and setup. Like, you know when this stuff comes up in any other fucking game or good book? In, like, an extra. It's like this... Okay, actually, technically, that would be this. I'm thinking way too much in video game terms. Where this is boring side stuff that really doesn't matter. This shows up in like sides in supplementary materials. Like there's an appendix. 
you know, like, put it in a fucking appendix. You can do that. You can have a part where it's like, Azumi gives you a written version of this, and she's like, here's the written details, here's what you gotta know to work. I'll read this part, you can read this later. Like, that probably wouldn't have been that much of an issue considering what Rempi can apparently do. Like, you just make a screen, and there's, like, the text. Like, this is what my life was like. But nope. Instead, it's part of the main fucking plot. This... This... Cr roughly. Ugh. Ah, that's a really icky feeling in my arm. Ugh. This is really clumsy. Ah! Ugh. I like this. This is a nice one. It's different, again, but it just kind of sells it a bit more. I mean, there was like 65 million years between me and them, but the portal should still be able to make contact. A black hole doesn't see the difference between time and space. Which, it's kind of weird that it talks about this like that. Like, just say that it doesn't care what it's sending something through. Yeah, that's better. In a difference between time and space. An hour is just 60 centimeters, to put it like that. I mean, it really just sells. Like, I don't fully know how this works. Like, it's really complicated stuff. But, I can tell you this much. Like, you're... Like, she's never trying to sell it down or anything. Like, trying to, you know, present things. It's it's so... Here's a fact. Moving on. It's like, come on. Try to, try to sell me on your shit. Wait, so what she's saying 
is that in order to go through space, you need to align yourself through time. So in order to travel through time, you have to align yourself along a spatial axis. I think I get it. Isn't that a huge mistake to randomly have happen that you're not aligned with the time axis? Like this, this sentence just doesn't make a lot of sense to me in the context that it is. A line. A line. I don't think there's a good word for that. That works. It's just as clumsy as the original sentence, if for different reasons. Like, aligning across the time axis to me is like, that's the direction you're traveling, more than anything. It's like you select an arbitrary vector axis along which you travel, and you can't diverge from it. Like, if you're going across time, you have to be along a certain... Like, of course, space is apparently a lot more than three dimensions, but the central conceit is, this sentence doesn't make sense to me as what it's trying to explain. Like, what does it mean to align yourself along time to travel through space? Like, that's an interesting thing that it just doesn't explain, and I can't either, because I don't know what the interpretation is, and thus I can't put in an interpretation, because I'm not going to blow up the original interpretation like that. That's, 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 that's like way beyond the slightly tweaking your conversation to be a little bit more exciting. That she doesn't sound like a flat cardboard cutout standing there going, This is facts. <laughs> Which doesn't happen as much as I think it does. Like, she really sells herself at the beginning. How does that work, though? Like, if you're traveling through fucking time, then what the fuck? If you're traveling through time, you're not limited by time, is my problem. This is like the reason you never do time travel, is time is this dimension people can never escape. So once you can escape it, Every single problem changes in what its dimension is. Uh, I think I know what she's trying to talk about. Is once you try to, once you line them along the time axis, it's sort of like she freezes herself, like she just that doesn't make any sense. Because if she says, "Okay, I'm at the same place my c company was in the future," so I'm at, she's in the same location, but just a little bit like lower. Like let's just say that they built it underground. I don't know. She's at the same place technically, but you can't find it because. Like, that's the thing, it's like... <laughs> like, they sent her and immediately just said, I don't know. Like, if you can go to your past portal self, why can't you go back to the portal when it was operational at that time? This is a question that's never answered in a way that makes me go, that's why. I don't, I don't, I don't like this.
Like, the best I can imagine is it happens exactly then. Izumi gets sent back in time exactly then. Meaning, the portal is technically operational, but only for that exact second. Which is why they can't find it. It's because every time it finds it, it pings it, it's gone. And it's like, okay, it's not there, I guess. Like, that's the best I can imagine. It just doesn't... Maybe the portals just can't ping back in the first place. Like, the whole problem with the portals is they can't send messages back in time like that. And that's the problem. And that's probably what she means. It's like, I'm checking the functions. Like, you can't... You can't work like that if you can go back in time. Like, the best I can imagine is the, the thing she mentions later, where like, oh, we're, 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 uh, we're aligned. You can't cheat the system by going back and forth. Which, okay, fine. Why doesn't she bring that up now? This is the point where you're like, okay, by the way, the reason I can't just go wherever I want is the portals need to be aligned first. Like, once you, once you sync those fucking portals up, time travels the same length on both ends, so you can't cheat the system. You can't just pop in anywhere you want. Like, she doesn't explain that at this point, so you're like, why not? <sighs> and it's not even explained that that other portal is affected by that, it too. It's only this one she talks about, and, and the one that you're using to, to come into the Dragon World and all that. Company, uh, countries like this is illegal even though you're like it's experimental and they already made it illegal that's that's some fast fucking laws like if they're aligned I can understand okay a few weeks that makes sense you know hmm I can, that's like the only thing I can make up that that would make sense in that way Cut their losses. Ooh, that's a... Considering the circumstances we're currently in, when it comes to people with super weapons deciding to fuck around like a bunch of asshats, I can't help but say that I suddenly had that weird feeling. Ooh, that's a spooky feeling. Existential Dread. Buy it today. Don't buy it today. You can get it for free. ba da ba ba da ba that's, uh, I think that's gonna be the new sound for a while. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. I just sometimes like noises, and I make them a lot. I, c I can't help it. I just like certain noises. My my ears go wee, and I'm like woo, and then I go just make the noise again. <sighs> ah, I want to do it, but I can't.
Oh! Oh no, wait. Oh no. Then why do you bring it up? Like, why are you explaining this? Why is this relevant? Like, what is happening here is we are hearing about a interesting story, second-hand, that would have made as much an interesting part of the game as anything else. Like, I know the restrictions of, like, it's a visual novel, and it's, like, about choose-your-own-adventure to some extent. But at the same point, you have this character who basically talks about this really interesting adventure, and we're like, okay, I get to hear about it. ba da ba ba da I mean, this is supposed to explain, like, her motivations for doing what she did, but weren't, like, the people she was with being like, eh, it's probably fine. <laughs> Fun fact, the world almost got blown up because of a malfunction, and some Russian guy was like, let's not blow up the world. And then it turned out, oh, it wasn't blowing up. Yay, we didn't blow up the world. Here's a medal. I never like it when time travel stories are like, you can only go back and you can only- and time still flow- Like, why would time still flow like that? Like, the best- the thing you need to do, what you need to do is right in the middle, establish some rules, stick to those rules as best you can, and whenever someone tries to suggest something else, don't. Just never bring it up. I don't care. Like, if you want to say that's not possible, at least do that. Like, at least if someone say, but then the machine would blow up and you'd fail anyway. Like, do something simple. But either don't acknowledge it at all, or just bypass it. And the fact that this is addressed, but it doesn't actually solve the problem, is a big issue. Civilization. There we go. Uh, can your character please point out that the fact that you're like, shaped by my own ideals, is the kind of megalomaniac super thinking that generally is reserved for supervillains? I mean, your character just sits here on a fucking chair going like, man, I wish you had an actual goddamn chair. <laughs> Holy shit.
Yeah, but... The, the, the thing is... Yeah, like, I like how they automate a process. Like, you can't turn that off. Like, wouldn't it be efficient to be able to decide what they would get? Nah. Okay, so this is trying to explain, like, why there are multiples. But at the same time, it's kind of like... You talk about learning, but they don't. Dragons don't give a shit about science. Like, the way it's presented, they've just been sitting there, picking their fucking noses for forever. Like, you could say, But what if the dragons existed long enough and this is just their human society? Like, essentially, it's only been like 2,000 years. That's never explained. It's never set how long this took. And without that, like, when, how, who, what, ah? Ah! Noises. Again, in the end, you can just look very final about this. Like, another thing to consider is, if the dragons existed for more like a few thousand years, it's incredibly likely that there would just be dragon skeletons everywhere, and the way this presents itself as like, okay, the meteor wiped out the dragon, so there's nothing to find of them. <sighs> How did she collect them, though? How the fuck did she do that? Like, she's like, I just collect them on my environment. How? Dinosaurs are not going to sit there and let you get close to them. Do you have any idea how long it took to get wolves to play nice? To make them say, mmm, belly rubs. Yeah, bitches. I got them belly rubs. Even cats are only just appreciating humanity. And they're like, oh. Anyway. Like, man. That being said, if you can if you can get a fucking wolf to... Oh, man, wolves are huge, though. Wolves are fucking huge, but they're such big boys. Oh. If a wolf goes on, she's so cute. It's a big old boy. Give him a big old smooch. But be careful, because he's probably filled with germs. Give me, give me, just give him a solid hug. And then send him on his way. But be careful. Wolves and bears, they, they, love, they love killing humans. Humans are our nice, easy prey. You got good fat in your bones, kids. You're a tasty snack. So how the fuck did Izumi do this? She's an engineer. She doesn't even know what kind of sample she needs or how to use them. Unless she just looked around and was like, Here's some random shit on the floor. I can use this. She just finds some shed skin. Again, like the species thing. The species thing doesn't work if it's on a short enough timeline. Because, like, there's like a lot of human races that have kind of merged and mellowed over time. That being said, cultural uh, evolution is also a thing. Let's not forget that! Again, this is not important. This does not matter at all. Why is Izumi, who's trying to save Dragonkind, telling you her life story when time is running out? 
Why does any of this matter? I understand needing to, to garner some sympathy, but there are better ways to do this. Like, just buy him a fucking ice cream and be like, Hi, I'm the only other motherfucking human here. You don't know me at all. You should know me if I was with Reza, so I'm not with Reza. Also, I may have made the dragons. Here's my lab. How about we settle this shit? Like, Izumi takes such a roundabout way to get you on her side, and I know why. She's like, ah, oh, that's a lab from story. But for fuck's sake... This kind of storytelling is usually done in third-person situations because no one person gets this kind of oversight to a single situation. It just doesn't work. Also, I'm trying to think about all the cycles where you die, and I think Lorm is one of the main ones. At least the one I remember. God damn it, Lorm. At least Kevin would have taken... <laughs> It's interesting that it took... Like, again, like, the whole point is she... She, she basically... Hmm. Like, it's... She never tells, like, how much technology she's given them. Like, clearly she's helped them in this regard, which already implies she's given them a lot of knowledge. Uh. I love how she's like, Jesus fucking Christ. Like, every single human that's come here has realized this. Like, why haven't you? <laughs> It's the thing that gets me is that she was like, Wait, I'm 65 million years in the motherfucking past. Didn't something major happen around that time? ba da ba ba da ba Yeah, okay, now we're getting to the part that I'm really fucking annoyed about. Did she, during any of this, like, check in with humanity again to be like, did the portal work again? Like, she must have, right? <laughs> Why do I have an image of a sewer in my head? Hmm. Oh, that's because I imagine where we are at this point. Whoever named that thing, what a mouthful! <laughs> I like this one. The dinosaurs were here... ...were here like 64 million years ago. They all died! By an asteroid! It says screw up.
It doesn't mention the fact that things near that impact site were basically superheated because the impact... Did you know there's a lot of friction and heat energy that comes free when something smashes super hard into something? There's a reason some things are hot when they smash into things. Like, I'm pretty sure that... Caused a lot of problems. Also, the actual impact that... Happens to do is not as big as you think it is. God damn it, I actually looked this up at some point. Like, how much energy was in it? Energy. No, I want Wikipedia for this. God damn it. I remember there being one where it's like, okay, this is how, this is how bad shit went. Energy! There we go. Jules. Give me some jewels. Or does it... Ah, there we go. Uh, where is it? Here we go. So... So... This is, this is how much it did. That's a lot. Um, let's look at one that we all know. So, an order of magnitude less is the amount of energies we have as of 2012 in fossil fuels. Um... The annual fuel cons- Oh my god, that's a scary as fuck number. That's not that much lower. So, the amount of energy consumed in a year... Times a thousand! That's a spooky number! Uh, it's not as spooky as you think it is. The sun puts more energy on Earth by an order ten. A solar flare, which is the thing that kind of fucked us all over, stronger than that. <laughs> I'm just saying. We had a big discussion about, like, solar flares and how stupid they are. Like, how they- really wouldn't do what they did. Um, okay, so there's the Mega Tsunami. Here we go, it's a nice graphic. Um, wasn't there like heat? Yeah, there's all the, the stuff in the air which would make breathing hard, would cause greenhouse effect. So things would be heated, and also cold, and basically it's a f Acid rain? Wow. Acid rain's a problem. Oh, it's because it's near a village. Okay. I, I, I'm okay with that. That... Whatever. Cold. Temperature. Really? You're not even gonna use the fucking word temperature. Ooh, here it is. ba da ba ba da What a, what a fucking image. Ooh. Now there's an impact site. I, I, I've seen it, thank you. Um... Mammals. Look at that finger! That's a finger, all right! Oh, wow, he won a fucking Nobel Prize, didn't he? And his son geologist. <laughs> that, I don't know something about that, it just seems weird. His son geologist. I grew a geologist, and I made a son out of him! <laughs> the truth. Anyway, shit went really bad. Uh, wow, iridium. Oh, so that's the proof of the... Okay, it's because of iridium. What? It's now 66! Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. I want to adjust the number, but it wouldn't make any sense. Because then there's only a million years and it would actually date things. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. By the creation of Deccan traps, I can't believe this asteroid meteor decided to put traps. I'm not gonna do for my fucking research. I'm a translator. I'm not <laughs> this is not my job. It's your job, Mr. Saunders. I say after multiple times blaming him for this stuff and saying I do it myself. You can imagine that having no plants would be terrible.
Without plants, no plant eaters. Without plant eaters, no meat eaters. The food chain just collapses. It just goes... I like this a bit better. All in all, 75% of or just went straight to dying. Bigger animals had it, had it harder. Anything bigger than a kilogram didn't have a chance. Just sells it a bit more, you know, it makes it a bit more severe. It's like that everything bigger than that would die. Make give him give him a pepper spice boy! Put a little bit of salt in that pepper! Mm. <laughs> That's way too aggressive. I have been recording for an hour. Today has been a lot. What I need to do something tomorrow that's a very little. This is so fucking weird in metric when it's like no one uses pounds. So I have to put another comment here. Because why the fuck would she mention pounds in Dutch? We haven't used pounds in years! I mean, people sometimes use, oh, we're gonna buy a run for a pound. But a pound in Dutch is half a kilogram. And an ounce is a one-tenth. Like, we don't have this system. You don't have to say that because it's logical. It's not 2.2, it's just 2. How much is pound? 2. It's 500 grams. How much is an ounce? It's 100. Ba bam Bada-bing, bada-boom. An ounce in Ingram. What? No, that's an ounce. That's not a gram. You mother clucker. Mother clucker. Uh. Uh. Oh, man, it is. Yeah, here. Here. An ounce is an old way of measuring things. In common, in 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 common terms, it's equal to 100 grams or a hectogram or one tenth of a kilogram. Ba -da -ba -ba -da a pound is an old measure. It's an old measuring unit. Usually means 500 grams. So yeah, to us it doesn't make sense at all. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense. Oh wow, there's actually different kinds of pounds. The Amsterdam pound was four four nine four point zero nine. Wow. Uh, the why the fuck would they have an oh that's an, that that's why I never heard of that. Uh Utrecht. Hmm. That one's really close. Almost. But no cigar. Oh, they can't sell by pound, literal by law? Wow. That's weird. That's really weird. Yeah, LBS. I don't Oh, Libra pound. Oh, that explains everything. Except it doesn't. Here's my middle finger. Just actually I don't know what le oh because that's what scales are. That's what scales are. <laughs> In a jar of jam, there's usually 450 grams because it's easier to sell that to a bunch of Americans, I guess. It's a pound, and we don't give a shit. Let me let me pick up this random bit of packaging. How much is in this one? Oh, it's 320 grams. Wow, what an exact number. How much is in this bag? Oh, it's 300. That's actually three ounces. Okay, that's also... God damn it. I remember having bags. Okay, there's there's 213. 213 grams, people! There's a bag with 213 grams of shit in it. And you buy that. Ugh. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know, dragons are less than a kilogram. <laughs> Like, just reiterating, this meteor is a bad problem, because dragons are under that limit, or above it. <laughs> Why is she asking that? Why this question? What to this? Like, you're literally asking, what am I supposed to do? And then she's like, you want to shoot a shame? Like, that's not my question. I ask, what the fuck we can do about it, missy? 
I'm gonna capture the phrase, but what can I do about it? What can I do about it? Again, though, like, humanity's extinction is just a big joke, because it's not properly elaborated. At least the dragons are like, it's a giant explosion! Can't escape that! <laughs> I just want to- I just want to add a sentence to this, where it's like, I'm- I'm fucking here! I'm here! I'm human, I'm here! For that mention, is... Why would I brought you? Um, why would she... Like, Reza makes things worse by stealing the generator. So, why doesn't she take Reza out of the picture? Instead of, like, escalating the situation as... Like, Reza is a massive issue in the situation. And she doesn't solve that. In fact, she causes the situation to happen in some timelines. Implying that Izumi is just not having the slightest clue what the fuck she's doing. What does it matter if I help? It really is, what can I do? Like, what does it matter if I help? Like, kind of sounding like, I, like, you're in over your head. Like, your character should be like, Time travel is real. I'm in the past. Dragons are dinosaurs. There's another human here who made this entire society and civilization I see in front of me. I'm going to die. Your character doesn't give a shit about that. And just goes, hmm. Like, you're not even, you're not even criticizing the possibility of the situation. You're just like, we? Like, not like, why should I believe any of that. Why should I believe that you're speaking the- Like you- Arrgh! This is why I hate this part. It's so fucking dumb. It's the worst part of the entire visual novel because it doesn't do what it needs to do. It doesn't explain and answer the questions you should be answering. It only makes more questions that it doesn't answer either and it just makes the whole story so fucking stupid. That's why I want to get through this part because this is the worst fucking part of everything. Ah! I wasn't angry before. Before I was just annoyed. Now I'm angry. I'm... There was a fucking banana here. This, this this piece of measuring tape looks a bit like a banana. Go make your fucking cat joke. Woo! Ah! <sighs> so, I took a little bit of time off. I feel better now. Okay. Um... <coughs> so this... This is really big a problem. Azumi can clearly kick Reza's ass. Um, <coughs> she kills him in a certain timeline. Um, so here's the question. Why doesn't she just do that and then let you do your thing? Once Reza has done these things, why not kill him? So she does the thing Reza does. So to make sure you go on the same track and you're like, Reza's there. But no. Like, what's the point of keeping Reza alive at that point? Like you show up and you're like, I'm going to get shot. Why? Why was that the plan? Not you, even though there's an evil ending in which you told- Like, she wouldn't be cute if, like, you were like, Oh, that could've been me.
Chim avoids that last bit of the question. Okay, yeah, there she goes. That's weird that she would answer it in that direction. Yeah, going through all the endings is going to be pain. Yeah, this part just... I thought I would come here and I'd be like, eh. I'd just be annoyed. But instead, I'm angry. I'm legitimately angry at this. This is bad. This just doesn't do it. It doesn't work. This is bad, bad video games. <laughs> That's a visual novel. I need to stop calling it video games. It's a visual novel. It has different objectives and different accomplishments. It's more like a book, and I don't... I've never really dealt with books. I don't know how books work. What's a book? Why are words... Like, the way she says it gives the implication that she has a plan. She wants all the generators in one place, and once that's like that, she, she sort of slips you the plans. And you're like, oh, this is a human weapon that can shoot things out of the sky. But like, that point is never established, despite being a major topic. Just hand wave it, but do something! You can't do this! You cannot plot hole a major plot point! Because then you just have a hole with nothing in it. This is an important step that just isn't in there. But even if the plan works, we're gonna need every generator to increase the chance success as much as possible. Like, she never even addresses that. It's like, we need them all because we have a better chance. You know, it's like, everyone we get is important. Like, we don't know. There's like a tipping point somewhere. And and the chances go, it doesn't address things enough as it should. Ah, mm, angry. Stop being angry. That actually helped. Wow. Someone told me that if you knock wood four times really loudly, it helps with your anger. And it actually helped a bit. Yeah! Real life instead of video games. <gasps> Is this a new era? Uh -huh. I like how she said maybe other help from others. Because you need that, you can go on your own, but you fuck it up. Unless you want to make humanity live, in which case, you succeed. Whee! <laughs> this is a bit different, but I think it really sells Azumi's, like... The harder stance on the matter is like, sure, but you're gonna need my help, and that of others. There's, like, don't do the maybe part, it just seems stupid. Although I'm gonna put that in fine. Like, you need to, you need to explain why your character, like, if I do leave this maybe out, it's gonna be like, why would your character ever do the neutral ending, or the evil ending? Um, Rez is dangerous, and with this gun, I think you can figure that one on your own. Negotiations will be difficult. Why wouldn't you bring up Maverick? I'm gonna bring up Maverick. He would, sh he would shoot you just like Maverick if he has to. You know that kind of stuff. Kind of looks weird in Dutch, because it's like he would you just like Maverick shoot you over if you get in his way. I like literal translations from time to time because it shows you how weird some sentence structures tend to get split up in other languages. Ba da ba ba da. How much longer is there after this? Oh my! Oh my fucking god! This is longer than I thought it was. Wow, we're actually really close, so if I do all of this... <sighs> do I want to do all of this? Is the question I need to answer. 
Whatever. Let's do this. So that I can go b look back and be like, I'm done with the shitty part that just makes me grrr. Because this ruins the setting for me. And it ruins the story for me. And it doesn't answer the story for me. Ugh. Why wouldn't she? She has all the time in the fucking world to find him. I mean, it's such a hand wave. Like, oh, I don't know where he's... You could literally just piece by piece find where he came from. Just saying. You know where he's going. You know where he's coming from. It's... Mm. Especially with all these loops. Although she might just be saying that to lie, because she's already lied before. Oh, there's only one thing that bothers me. Not this whole time travel thing. Not the whole making a new society thing. Not the fact that your time machine can't fucking find the other portals. It's the dragon bird that bothers me. God damn it. Someone's going to call the cops because of how angry I am. Ah! They're going to knock and I'm going to... Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm so sorry, sir. Oh, okay, this, this is actually a very important question that's not answered in any way whatsoever. Oh, I see what this is about. Okay, so she... The alignment is... That's what this refers to. Finally, this, this thing clicks. Um, so, the thing is still... So, time still flows. Why didn't she use this and then look for the company portals? I guess it's not good to go to a time that things are going to blow up. Like, fine. But she doesn't mention that as, like, being part of her logic. <sighs> also, this does not work if you're talking about the present and future, motherfucker! Uh! I need a bag of ice. A big old bag of ice. I'm gonna put this a bit different. How many generations? Where are your relics? Where are your where are your statues? Like, wouldn't they make like a fucking statue? Operational, operational. God damn it, my, my head just exploded.
I'm gonna... Is, is, is this actually a comet? It's an asteroid. It could also be an asteroid. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have that be the sassy comeback to that, because that's a fun sassy comeback. And, you know, the Dutch version could use a few more references. I like this line, because someone's gonna see this fucking line and go, ex just, ugh. Oh. Actually, it's an asteroid, but it doesn't matter. Which is every fucking thing she said before! Ah! I just like this. I, I just think this is something she would say if she ever goes to the airport. I just go, like, she doesn't seem to have any interest in keeping some humor in the situation. You know, like some humanity. But she also acts with enough humanity. It doesn't make, she doesn't make any sense. I'm probably going to remove that on the second run, because that's, like, completely uncalled for. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't even add anything. Like, this is kind of cute, but this just, no. Ugh. The next version is going to be so much different from any other version, because I'm fucking around with the text so much. It's a different adventure! And the Dutch ones are going to go, like, what the hell? Turn the music down a bit. Maybe that may at least make me shout less loudly. Ah, that's better. Okay, this is a bit different, like, did it work when you found it, or did you... No, we had to mess with it. I think it's Rumelin. For some weird-ass reason, we do that a lot. Doesn't make any sense, but... Yeah, that's so weird! Why isn't it Rumelin? Is it because it's an E uh, instead of an E? Eh? I don't know. I need to read through this first. I like how she brings this up now, after it was important for her story. Oh, I see what the point is. That's the central point. I don't know what the term jumping means in this, though. Unfortunately... I think it refers to jump start.
Oh, I see what the point is. Oh, I know what the point is. Okay, so what she's talking about is, the moment you turned on the fucking portal, you activated the time safeguard process, meaning it will no longer allow you to shift along the time axis. Ugh. I like how just jibber jabbering about this. This is really hard, because this requires translation of, like, pretty deep in their terminology. Fun fact, that's the hardest part of translation, is when you're deep in shit like this. On the plus side, it stops me from being angry, because, for one, this isn't the bad part of the story, and two, it's it distracts me a lot. I think this explanation actually sums it up very easily, very quickly. Because you're, because you're in the same connection without adjustment, it means that the same portals are going through time. Time. One minute on each side, despite the actual difference of 65 million years. I think it... Uh, it, it maybe someone will get it. I don't think I do, either. Uh.
I like this explanation too. So I'm 64 million years in the past, but if I become if I if I age if I become a year older, everyone else also becomes a year older. Instead of the only me becoming older. Oh, I like this. She act oh, I, I read this wrong. I always misunderstood this. You can go back to your own timeline and, and break it. So that, okay. Despite this, she still fucks around a whole bunch. God damn it. Actually, it wouldn't, since the pa Ugh, I don't know. Like, you're already fucking shit up by being 64 million years in the past to begin with. Go, 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 go back to the future yourself, game. Although the way this is set up implies this is the first time you see Azumi, which kind of implies that, uh, no, it's entirely possible to get your first run with, uh... That being said, the new timeline thing kind of implies that there are millions of timelines in which you fuck shit up, and there's only one that does good. Like, what the fuck kind of morality is that? It's okay to mess with time as long as one of them makes it. Jesus. This is a little bit better. There will be a time with uh, there will be a timeline without you where you've been sent away and a new one where there's two of you, the one that's supposed to be there and the one that got sent there, which is not as complicated as it sounds. I'm going to add this line you don't have to understand it because someone might just be like I have to understand no, you don't. I like this, though. It's like, I don't know this. Like, it's entirely possible that, um... This doesn't make any sense. It could be a million years. Which, in which case, Jesus fucking Christ, your dragons have done absolutely jack diddly fucking squat in that time. Um, if it's a thousand years, they still haven't done much with their time. Um, but... <sighs> what am I gonna go about? Like, they had access to a generator, which implies they had access to her technology. In which case, they didn't start off tribally. Um, but I like this. I like the idea of... We never actually figured out how time works on this axis. 
We just know that if we increment this one, it works out fine, but that's all we know. The only thing they know is that if they increase this one by one, every one, things are fine. That's all they know. Actually, if you have that, couldn't you just like measure how many of that one increases over any one second? And then you could be like, okay, there's a thousand of these in a second. We can, Like, the problem is you can figure this out in like a second. Literally. <laughs> uh, I'm angry about that. But at the same time, it's like, I guess Azumi wouldn't figure that out since he's an engineer and a scientist. There's different things. Different things, people. Uh, a bit more. I don't know how the internal variables can be transferred to seconds and minutes as we know it. Like our perception of time is just such a f big fucking word to use in that regard. They like, just say, "Ah, oh, I don't know how they, I don't know how they translated the seconds." Like that's the funny thing is that because you travel through time and space, it's a, it's possible those are automatically adjusted for with really heavy intelligence. But at the same time, because it's also time locked, you end up with this massive calculation. It's impossible to know which one of those is time, unless you really know space. I like this. Hey! The generator is the best man could build at the time. High tech to the max. You can see it. If it's solar rays, though, like the problem with the solar ray thing is that it implies that there's like a small panel at the top that no one just managed to find. Like, I understand that they would have like, oh, you just plug it into a literal fucking tree, but people would still find that out. Like, why is this one tree not growing? I'm just saying, actually, that having been said, it's entirely possible there's just a tree in a forest and no one's figured out that it's not been growing. I would actually believe that. But the thing is... Reality is stranger than fiction, and people will ask questions that don't make sense. I've been doing that a lot. This implies the portal isn't that big a deal. The generator was meant for the lab, research station, and a living habitat. It's in a huge amount. And then there's the portal. Or to be exact, now there's only the portal that's using it. So yeah, it would still be fine. I, like, did they never discuss this? Like, no one was like, hey, we have to power this ourselves. And they're like, we don't have to power shit. <laughs> it works fine for us, motherfucker. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> it uses po it it. It, it taps power out of the earth itself. And the earth is still here, so you can see the... Like, that's like a funny joke. Like, that's a joke she'd be making, and every time she'd be like, Aah! Like, I could see that being funny forever. I'd, I'd spice up that joke every time. Like, again, that's why, like, this conversation would be perfect. Fucking perfect for that. Also, this. Like, she talks about tradition. Why? She talks about, they learn, and it's like... Tr every single time, this, this, this whole story seems to not agree with itself. Ugh. I mean, there's like zero wolves in the Netherlands nowadays, so it's not that difficult to keep them from showing the fuck up. Like, animals need a lot of territory, especially predators, to, to, to keep their food and tummies full. It's why fucking wa those fucking raccoons and bears go into towns. It's because they need that much turf. They need that much astroturf. And those are for human things, because why would there be anything else? I liked a bit more. Like, you could just give one, like, stair chairs without a tail hole, doors that aren't useful for, for a quadruped. Like, point that out! Ah! That's so fucking sad, though. Yeah, like this... Like, what the fuck happened to, to Anna? Like, is Anna at that point where she's like, I can't do anything? That being said, learning capacity is not the same thing as loyalty. Like, stupid people can rebel, you know? That's how most... Rev that's how the French Revolution worked out. It's like a bunch of stupid people decided to rebel, despite being old. You know, it's, it's not as effective as you think it is.
yeah, like, this is so fucking weird. Like, what's the point? Like, why does she embody them with populism? Although, I guess populism is just an exploitation of a system. Like, people want something, and you give them what they want. Pointing this out, they, they still have the same uh, morals and values as I taught them, but with humans, you would have seen different kinds of ideologies. Yeah, like this this is a like this is a huge problem. This is fucking Anna! <laughs> like Anna does this to the extreme. Adine is clearly wanting more or to achieve something. And at the same time she's like, eh, like, mmm th this like I understand it's like subtle, but at the same time it's like mmm mmm A few weeks. Like the few fucking weeks. Why not just shoot the moon away at that point? <laughs> Wait, that implies that the dragons were made by a machine or something. God damn it, I've... Uh, I've gotten out of the thing. I think it, that's good, though. It's good that I don't mess too much around with this. Although, at the same time, I was like, eh. I've adjusted it a bit at some places. Oh, my head. Ooh. Big ol' ringer in my ears. Ah! Ringer!
I like how she just leaves you there and she's like, this will work out just fine. <laughs> I can leave someone in my mysterious hideout and things will work out fine! Okay, I'm very misunderstood. I thought there was like a biometrics, but no, it's just emergency coordinates to get out of this place. How would Reza know it's been fixed? Oh, I probably saw her. Oh, there she goes. Yeah, like, only you will be able to use them. Is she referring to the coordinates, or what? Also, at what point does she actually... Uh, I don't know. I don't care. We'll see it when we get to the endings, which is going to be soon enough. Secrecy, secrecy, secrecy. Oh my god, we're almost done. <sighs> yeah, why the mask? Why? Like, I understand the point is like, in one ending, you're Izumi, but that's one fucking ending! One! It's a fun little joke, but at the same time, it causes all this weirdness. Man, this scene is just as much of a slog and a bore as I thought it was. Next time... <sighs> just some voicemails. <sighs> Thank fucking God. I'm... I'm done. I'm done! What a shit post! This scene is... The black... Sheep! The worst part, and we're done with it. My god, I'm glad. Like, the puzzle at the end is a master clusterfuck to solve, but this. Oh, my fucking god. I'm just so glad I'm done. I'm so glad I'm baby done. I'm baby done. I'm done!